summer is supposed to be a glorious stretch of downtime for kids when they can go to the beach or maybe to camp without the pressures of school. But ask a few students at Claremont's Marston Middle School about what their What I Did Last Summer essay would be about, and they paint a decidedly less idyllic picture. Just sit there and watch TV. Or I just sit there and watch TV or just go on the laptop. Nothing, I just stayed home. That TV watching and internet surfing lead to something called summer slide. Marston Vice Principal Alex Wynn says teachers plan for students who return in the fall with math and reading levels lower than when school let out for summer. It's it's almost like a catch-up for us, um, you know, it's the first couple of weeks or so trying to catch up with the kids who are not in the summer program or the summer um, school. And um, so we see that and we kind of build that around it. So the first couple of weeks just a quick orientation and quick um, basic skills just to catch them up. But some students never catch up. One study followed students over five years and found that those from low, middle and high income families made similar test score gains in math and reading during the school year. But over the summers, low income students made no progress or backtracked in those areas while high income students continued to advance. The difference may be access to sometimes expensive summer camps or even just to the library and parents that encourage summer reading. State funding cuts have meant fewer summer school seats, even for San Diego Unified students in danger of being held back. But for four weeks this summer, about 150 rising 6th, 7th, and 8th graders are taking part in the Summer Adventures program at Marston. The free program run by Think Together, a Santa Ana-based nonprofit, tries to prevent the summertime gap. All right, this group is correct. So this group over here. Students spend the morning in math and English classes and the afternoons rotating between club activities like art, fashion, cooking, and science. But even in the academic classes, instructors aren't relying on the kinds of worksheets kids might see during the normal school year, says Marston Program Coordinator Kent Smith. Well, a lot of the activities that we do is hands-on. Um, it's interactive. Um, some may call it disguised learning because the, some of the students may not even know that they're learning, but they really are. But the learning isn't that disguised from 12-year-old Monica Figueroa. <laughs> she thinks the activities just make it more fun. We were reading the book Holes and we did an activity where everyone acts like they're a character in the book and we get to know more about the characters. Is it that, uh, that girl uh, from, uh, what was her name again? Her classmate Perla Ron Hell says even subjects she usually thinks are boring have been fun this summer. Well, I didn't like science because you just sit there and watch videos about animals and that, but this year, right now, it's been more fun because you get more on-hand projects. But all of the fun has a serious payout. Think Together says about three quarters of the students who attended their programs last summer rose a whole grade level in math. Wynn believes offering the free program on a first come, first served basis to all middle school students is key at a school like Marston, where more than 70% of students come from low income households. And some of our kids don't have that if this does not exist, meaning uh, parents can't really afford for the kids to go off and you know, do their own thing. And he, with this program is so important because it offers math, science, technology, and the academic part too, which is math and English. About 1,300 San Diego Unified students are enrolled in Summer Adventures this year. It's the second time Think Together has run the program in the district. But in a school district with more than 80,000 low-income students, San Diego is probably a long way off from a summer vacation without academic consequences. He has the answer.